One of the most common diseases in geriatric dogs, unfortunately, is kidney disease. And what happens is the kidneys are involved in taking toxins out of the blood and putting them in the urine to be evacuated later. What happens with kidneys that are diseased is that process gets interrupted and the toxins start building up in the blood. We know from humans that have kidney disease that this is a very uncomfortable sort of um, illness-like feeling. So these people report feeling like they, are, they have the flu, they're nauseated, they don't want to eat. And that's essentially what we see in dogs. They become, they become lethargic, they become inappetent, they don't want to eat their food. In early stages of kidney disease especially, nutrition is the only go-to option. There's no pill that I can give you that will help you treat your dog with kidney disease. It has to be nutrition. And unfortunately, the commercial options, the kibble and cans for treating renal disease tend to be very unsavory, uh, very unpalatable, and dogs just won't eat it. So now you compound the problem with giving them something they don't want to eat, and they also don't feel so great because of the kidney disease itself. Our diets have completely transformed that because it makes the dog that wouldn't eat any other food, any of the prescription diets, it makes them eat our food. And uh, it's just fantastic that the palatability of our renal diets has been really their claim to fame. They'll eat it. And when they are eating a formulation that's good for them, you can start getting results with the kidney disease. And that's exactly what we see with our renal diets. We have two renal diets, depending on the level of kidney disease that, um, that your veterinarian thinks your dog is in. And so your veterinarian would decide between one of those two. We also have a hepatic diet, hepatic support low fat, hepatic meaning the liver. Turns out the kidney and the liver work very closely to do the same thing, which is processed protein. So a liver diet and a kidney diet are very similar. So we truly have three kidney diets because our hepatic diet has been used as successfully as a kidney diet and is also a good liver diet. So we've got quite a few options when it comes to supporting the two vital organs, the kidney and the liver.